Well, it's another very warm welcome back, all my classic dirt bike loving YouTube subscribers. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope you find something here to entertain you with regards looking at vintage dirt bikes. Now in my next featured video we're going to take a look at another British iconic classic that was originally made famous by the late Alan Clues. So stay with me for the next few minutes as we take a look at Steve Gregson's 1974 remanufactured CCM. Now, of course, this is not an original CCM from 1974. This is a re-manufactured machine, which is made from a kit of parts that you can purchase to build your very own 1974 Alan Clues classic copy. Now, the frame on Steve's machine is a brand new exact replica of the famous Alan Clues bike that he built uh, way back in the day. Now these frames are constructed under license from CCM by Joe Maxwell Engineering in Dumfries in Scotland. Now JME supply frame kits and all the other bits and pieces that you need to build one of these 74 bikes or if you have a few thousand pounds tucked away somewhere you can then just get Joe Maxwell to build you a complete machine. Now in our particular case, Steve has bought the frame, the swing arm, seat and fuel tank from JME and has sourced the remainder of the parts himself to finish the construction of the bike. Now these 1974 CCM frames are very high quality and of course come already chrome plated as was the original bike in 1974. Now the completed machine took Steve almost five years to finish the build of the bike, although as you understand he was not working on the bike each and every day, but was uh, just quietly adding bits and pieces to the frame whenever he could in between his work commitments and family life. Now the engine is as you would expect a BSA B50 street scrambler motor and uh, this engine power plant is basically a standard BSA block that Alan Clues re-engineered to give the motor more power. Now, although when Alan Clues bought out the failing BSA competition department in the early 1970s, BSA refused to give him any of the BSA Works competition engines with the deal. And so Alan then just took the standard run-of-the-mill 500 motor and worked his magic to then make this engine capable of taking on many of the world's biggest motorcycle manufacturers and beating them at their own game. Now some big British legends rode these CCMs back in the day with the likes of uh, Vic Eastwood and the great uh, Bob Wright. And of course there were a host of other riders including uh, Norman Barrow and even Mike Barnes who rode these machines and were all unbeatable in their day riding against some of the country's best opposition. Now if I remember these B50s had a bore of 84mm and a stroke of 90mm with of course a dry sump uh, in the engine with the oil for the motor housed in the bike's frame. Now 1974 unfortunately was the last year that BSA made these B50 motors and by this time they had manufactured around 5,700 units from 1971 to 1974. Now in our particular example here Steve has fitted a pair of Italian Marzocchi forks onto his CCM and these are a decent and are quite a common fixture on these 74 bikes. Now the front wheel hub on Steve's bike is a KTM hub which again is a quite common replacement for the original uh, CCM uh, hub which have been, would have been made from magnesium 
uh, way back in the day. Now, Michael Hubs again are a common replacement when building these remanufactured CCMs, although they then normally just uh, machine off the cooling fins and polish the alloy. But the rear hub on Steve's machine is again different and this is a CZ rear hub which again is very widely used on these reproduction CCMs. Now when it came to digging deep and forking out for a pair of rear shocks, Steve hasn't scrimped in that department and has coughed up some hard earned cash to buy these very high quality Olin's classic shocks. Now as far as quality goes, these Olin units are about as good as you can get. Although of course other brands are available, but for me these are possibly the, the best rear shocks around in terms of classic uh, bike rear suspension units. Now this alloy fuel tank is another item from JME Engineering and these fuel tanks are made and sold by Joe Maxwell. They are naturally a carbon copy of the 74 original tank and uh, are normally available in polished alloy with that uh, Monza style fuel cap. Although in Steve's uh, particular case here he has chosen to have his decked out in this lovely black colour. Now these CCMs had possibly the most comfortable seat in motocross in the early 1970s and it was a welcome relief to be able to rest your butt from time to time on this uh, very plush, almost armchair-like racing seat. And once again, this was another of the replica parts that Steve initially purchased to begin building his bike. But as dirt bike seats go, this was up there with the best. Now many of the bike's smaller ancillary items Steve had to gather together were the bike's uh, handlebars, grips, cables and of course throttle gasser. Now these though are more or less just stock items from a motocross parts supplier and uh, fit this British classic a treat and uh, don't even look a bit out of place on this Allen Clues machine. Now Steve has also added a rental uh, bar pad just to finish off the bike's uh, controls department. Now this beautifully sculpted swing arm is another part of the frame kit and it comes complete with a rubber chain guide that sits on the top run of the swing arm. Naturally of course you can then fit whichever size and make of rear drive sprocket that suits your particular needs and the configuration of the kind of track you'll be riding on. But it'll need to be something substantial and have decent quality if it's going to cope with all the horses that this drive chain is going to throw at it when that big B50 motor gets fired into life. And also once again the rear brake on this CCM is uh, cable operated. But nevertheless if you put the right rider on board one of these big rolling thunder beasts they'll take on anything on the racetrack, now whether that be ancient or even modern. But in terms of their competitiveness, these CCMs are still winning races on a regular basis at classic and vintage race meets and it's still a fitting legacy to the great Alan Clues that his bikes are still kicking ass even in the year 2020. But when it comes to the bike's plastics, there are many reproduction CCM parts out there for these classic CCMs. But for me personally, I have to say I'm a big fan of these CCM bikes and although I don't know what it is about them that uh, is the attraction and it's quite hard just to put your finger on one particular part that makes these bikes stand out from other machines, but I've always been of the view that if a bike looks right then generally 
it goes right. And for me, these uh, CCMs have that look in absolute bucket loads. But that excellent chrome-plated frame and that big bruiser of a BSE engine just seemed to fit together like they were made for each other. But nevertheless, Steve has done a great job putting this bike together when you consider he originally started with just a frame, swing arm, a tank and a seat and then sourced all the remaining parts and fitted them onto his bike to complete what is a very nice 1974 replica. Now since the bike was finished, Steve's made a few cosmetic changes by uh, changing the front and rear plastics. Although for me personally, uh, I think I much prefer the white mudguards to be uh, completely truthful. But uh, with all that besides, the main thing is that riders, owners and of course the parts manufacturers and the bike builders keep this iconic British brand alive and continue to preserve the legacy of the great man Alan Clues, who of course had the foresight and the ingenuity to start up Clues competition machines all those years ago in the early 1970s. Now okay, it's not an original bike from 1974 because original machines are just rarer than hen's teeth to find, but it's still a beautiful looking bike nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed this short walk around Steve's lovely CCM and please look out for more vintage classics coming soon to my channel. So until next time, continue to be safe until we check out more iconic vintage iron right here on Classic Dirt Bike TV. This video was brought to you in association with Wealthsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.